All right, let's start with this very juicy one um, on Ubi Franklin and Lilian Osoro. The judge chose out their divorce case. I don't understand that. But according to a post published by SDK blog, Lilian Osoro and Ubi Franklin appeared in court on Monday for their divorce to be finalized. But the judge sitting at the high court in Ikeja held that their reason for wanting to divorce is not valid, mm. stating that since Lillian confirmed that Ubi provides for their child and both of them are very good friends, then there is no reason for a divorce. According to sources, I mean, we're beginning to have sources in this country. That's cool. <laughs> she tell them, say, make them go settle their differences, saying that small picking, they worry them. Actress Lillian Esoro and Ubi Franklin got married in November 2015, and they have a son together. Mm. So that is <laughs> that is the beginning and the end of the story. This is like the funniest story that mm -hmm. we have today. Um, because So I went back mm -hmm. to do a little reading, and just to be sure, because I'm like, in other countries, there are certain things that apply for you to get a divorce, right? Mm -hmm. Those things apply in Nigeria, mm. and they do. So grounds for divorce, infidelity, mm. um, or if you've been separated for over a year, or if your spouse is abusing you, assaulting you, you know, the general things, or if you can't just reconcile. So, I mean, I still don't want to believe, because this is from SDK blog, mm -hmm. and the way it was reported, I mean, she's, she's brought out so many... Um, Amebo or gossip that have been that have turned out to be true, right? But this one was not. We didn't see any court document. Mm. It was just somebody said they were in the court, and she had to type the pigeon English the way the person said it, right? So I don't know. You were saying something. For you know, the truth. The truth is, it doesn't make sense. Which is what I'm. Which is actually my own standpoint that it, whether it's true or not, and I think that goes in line with what you're saying. It's tilting towards fake news because it's really not even possible for you to say that because he checks all the boxes. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, assuming the stories we see on social yeah, media are yeah. true, Checking infidelity boxes, check, separated we check. We might know he checks all the boxes, but the judge still has have to decide based on what she is reporting in court. Right, but they've so been separated, she, is what I'm saying, for over yeah, a year. I, I, that's the so, and that one's public. They've been separated it, it, it for is, over it a year. It is possible for, for a judge not to approve um, a divorce. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily saying it's impossible for you to get divorced, but they're saying, go work on this, and they'll give you things like, at least abroad, they'll give you yeah. things like a counseling period that you have to attend, community whatever, assignments, then after work, that, and all that still stuff. Decide. You then decide after that, you are free to go. And I think that's why I have... Her thing is because how even if you've been separated for a year, they've only been married for three years, four years, 2015. Oh, uh, yeah. That's so it's not, a, it's not a very long time. And I think that's where she's coming from, that you guys are obviously having normal marital, that's the impression I, I'm getting, <laughs> like normal right. marital issues, right? Mm -hmm. So she's saying, go, on, go back, first of all, and see. And the reason I think she's saying that if this story is true mm -hmm. is because of how well they are co-parenting. Mm. If it was a it was a deadbeat father, a deadbeat husband, they're not even talking to each other. Right. It's like, see, you're, you're, you're obstructing also, me. That's also my problem because are we beginning to feel like until the ex-husband and the ex-wife are on each other's throat and want to destroy each other, then we agree they are maybe not, not good for each other. Maybe, maybe we, not. Maybe not on each other's throats, mm -hmm. but if they're not talking to each other or like you're so not they relevant in my life. They don't have to not life. talk to each other. But if you're co-parenting together and you're working fine, I think it's okay for the judge to say, but do you want to look at? Fine. Are you trying to say There's because we're getting a divorce, then we cannot co-parent? That's what we've been preaching. We're trying to tell people mm -hmm. that yes, you're, you're missing, getting a you're divorce. Missing, I, I get her point. Missing, no, I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm not saying that they need to be together. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm explaining why, why I think mm -hmm. the She's judge might decision. say, and I don't think it's anything anything bad about saying, guys, you're making a very big decision that it's going to affect you, the sibling, your husband, and your son. Mm -hmm. Think about it, especially if I don't know your story and I don't know who you are. Sometimes it is women empowering, yes, but sometimes people just need to be patient and work things out. And she doesn't know what, what the case is, so she's saying, take a period, take a break, Look at this thing properly, and if you're still, I'm hoping that's what she's doing. <laughs> and if you're still like on that verdict, then sure, come on and get a divorce. Mm, I like that you're looking at it from that angle. I just think way too much has happened, and I mean, when you go to but court you know, to get a divorce, too they much are, happened online. Not but there are court. prosecutors involved. Don't forget. Yeah. There's proof. When you want to get a divorce, you have to go with but proof. But do you think? Yeah. Right? Do you think? So I'm assuming going by what you're they saying did their job. They can come back and say we still want to stay married. Eww. That's it a is, very big if. It is very possible. It is. Uh, it is. It is possible, but I don't see the likelihood of that because they are. 
their issues were too out in the public. And because Ubi Franklin has said his mission in life is to plant his seeds. <laughs> <laughs> what was she doing in the first place? You know, sometimes I always wonder, like, I always ask that. My, my mom is a single parent, and sometimes I always ask her, like, what, what moved you there again? What did you see? So I can, like, avoid that <laughs> thing. Because sometimes I feel like love can be so blinding and all <laughs> that stuff. But I'm sure she saw, before she got involved with this guy, a sign. Maybe she did not. Maybe she didn't. Anyways. Any. Thank you.